Hello everyone, it's September 4th, 2019, and I was watching earlier today, about eight hours ago, they put out um, a press conference here in Georgia with our Governor Brian Kemp and a FEMA representative who's going to say some pretty inter interesting things in the way he words it. I wanted to take a quick minute and uh, introduce Acton FEMA Administrator Pete Gaynor. Uh, great to have him in Georgia. We appreciate the federal response that we've gotten from FEMA and from the president and the rest of the administration, quite honestly. It's been, uh, been stellar, and um, I'll speak a little bit more to that after the uh, administrator gives you a quick update. Pete, thank you, sir. welcome to Georgia. Thank you very much. It's a warm welcome. Uh, so uh, thanks uh, to the governor's team uh, for the great work to get uh, Georgia ready uh, for whatever Hurricane Durian brings. Uh, I know it's been a slow mover. I think at uh, FEMA we're counting day 12 and still have some days uh, in front of us. Uh, this uh, response, not only in Georgia, but across uh, uh, Florida, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, and probably into Virginia, is a whole-of-government response. Uh, storms like this are locally executed, state-managed, and federally supported. So did you hear what he just said? I'm going to rewind it one more time, and I'm actually going to slow it down just a notch so that you can really grasp what he's telling us. Sorry, I'm putting on low quality. I don't know what's up with that. All right. Individuals that are prepared above government response uh, in front of us. Uh, this uh, response, not only in Georgia, but across uh, uh, Florida, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, and probably into Virginia, is a whole of government response. A whole of government uh, response. Storms okay. like this are locally executed, oh. state managed, and federally supported. No kidding. Uh, managed the most by the important state. Part is managed by the state. Locally, what do you say, locally um, support it. <laughs> no, I did it backwards. Here, let's go back, do it again. Into Virginia is a whole of government response. That part's weird uh, too. Storms like this are Locally executed, executed. That's the state one. Okay. managed, and federally supported. Locally executed was the one that really got me. Um, I didn't really take notice to the fact until I was to it later. They said about um, storms like this, you know, I, what do you say there as a whole? Like that, he's basically telling you right here to your face in a press conference. All of us that are in control of all of you sheep. We're executing it at your local level. We're managing it. And I said, why do we need a manager? <laughs> you know, and I, and I understand, you know, we do manage these storms when they come through. But to me, that's not, we're not able to manage these unless we are directly manipulating them. And people like to deny and come up with all the reasons why evil can't exist. I hate to burst your bubble, sweetheart. Evil can and does exist. Um, our enemy, Satan, is the ruler of this physical earth. And the people on it are subject and susceptible to his lies, deception, and just basically to greed, pride, self-serving. You know, the almighty dollar. Money can make people do, just, especially evil people, do just about anything. We know about little H. Rodham C. They had no trouble selling uranium to our enemy and letting our ambassadors die. So evil does exist. And yes, they can manipulate the weather since the 30s. Look it up. Google has all the info. But check out the rest of what he says here. Uh, and the most important part is with individuals that are prepared. If all that is working, it really... Uh, it turns into a great, uh, a great response. A great to what? A great what? Turns into what? A great response. Great. So that I found that interesting. I'll be back. There's more. You better believe it. Okay. So this next clip, um, Brian Kemp, Governor Kemp is back um, up at the podium and he's given an update on some other things about response and. Uh, sign an executive order that allows for a reverse flow um, on the highway, basically, on to, to go uh, on the opposite side of the road, the wrong way, to drive like the British if you need to get some supplies to the peoples. 
basically. So, but now he's going to talk about, um, some help he's going to get, um, on a couple other matters. And it touches on what I was just talking about, um, for that people, you know, people have an evil in their hearts. This is just more, you know, back up to what I was just saying. Attorney General Chris Carr can explain ongoing enforcement efforts to stop price gouging. And he's also been collaborating with Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger to combat charity scams, scams for those that want to help after the storm moves through, uh, which sadly is a very common occurrence in, in today's world in the wake of a natural disaster. So we urge Georgians to be. So, I mean, everybody knows there's, there's scams, you know, the prince of Nigeria wants to give you $10 million. And you, and you, and you, and me, and you. Um, so, and of course, situate evil people. Basically, it goes like this: are and, and self-serving, greedy people. You know, selfish folks are always looking for an opportunity, especially like narcissistic sociopaths. They are always looking for their next opportunity to get a leg up, whether it be financially control over someone, gaining goods or property or anything anything that they can get for themselves if it's a self-serving mentality it's not giving it's not thankful there's no humility it's all ego it's all pride and cha you know even greed causes people to be inconsiderate and thieves and liars you know so all right be right back with more Joe man too I'm the general manager at view for Jasper water and sewer authority. Our emergency personnel have completed our preparations. We've topped off all of our generators, our systems full of water. Uh, our emergency crews are mobilized at their designated facilities as of this morning. Uh, we will be adjusting valves this afternoon at the critical causeways uh, beginning at 4 p.m. This is going to result in reduced flow. This is, we still have water service, but it will be reduced flow. could result in lower water pressures. The areas are... Bermuda Bluff, Birdfoot Landing, Kalawasi Island, Cat Island, Kusaw Island, Distant Island, Vivian's Island, Harbor Hunting and Fripp Islands, Horse Island, Kingston Key, Myrtle Island, Pine Island, Tansy Village, and Warsaw Island. The purpose of these water restrictions is to avoid a catastrophic loss of water system pressure should a failure of the pipeline within the causeway occur during the, due to the effects of the storm. Uh, customers in these areas, as noted, uh, will still have water service, but may experience lower water pressure. Additionally, another announcement we wanted to make is in order to ensure the safety of our emergency crews, uh, they will not be available after 4 p.m. today. So any calls that come in after 4 p.m. after 4 p.m. will not be we will not be able to respond to wow. due to the due to the storm. What? Uh, we will our emergency crews will remain what? sheltered and told it's safe to travel within the service area after the storm passes. Once the storm does pass, we will have our damage assessment crews in place to begin the restoration process and determine what restoration is needed. Thank you. No emergency help after 4 p.m. in Southern... Good morning, I'm Weston Newton, uh, state representative from the uh, Hilton Head, Bluffton um, <coughs> portions of Jasper County. Uh, area. Um, as a former county council chairman, um, and at the risk of being an officious intermeddler, uh, as a state representative who really has no role in what's happening here at the local EMD, um, I'm here to do two things. One, Colonel Baxley and, and Sheriff and Mayors and all the municipal uh, police departments, thank you. You all have been at this tirelessly uh, for over six days protecting the citizens of, of uh, the low country, South Carolina. And number two, is my simple message is heed the warning of law enforcement, heed the warning um, of your elected and government representatives. They know what they're doing. They're professionals. Mm -hmm. They've been at this. Sure. Um, they um, have our best interests. And if you have the ability to leave, please do so. They, Godspeed. They, Thank they you. are saying leave, leave, leave. Every single person is saying leave, leave, leave. I want to thank everyone for, uh, for all of their comments. Um, 
it, it, the reality is upon us now. Uh, if you're still with us and you're still here in Beaufort County, you still have time to leave. Uh, it, it looks like the estimate of, uh, of this problem was time hours ago, uh, for me way. is probably 6 p.m. today through 6 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, those are going to be critical times. Those That's going to be a critical today. time for us. Uh, we're looking at uh, probably the, the most wind, the most water, uh, the most rain, and the most hazard uh, during that time. So you still have time to uh, uh, pack up and, and leave. I think uh, you'll be... Uh, 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 more comfortable get if out. you're you'll outside live. of Beaufort County because the storm say. was like it's really going to get us live. a problem. If you decided to stay and you just won't go, uh, then you need to shelter in place wherever it may be. If it's at your home or a business or or, or, a, or a shelter, uh, then you just need to stay put, especially starting later uh, this afternoon uh, through tomorrow afternoon. Um, yeah, the storm not is going to, to offer no a lot of wind, rain, and very high water today, uh, with storm surge. No uh, high tides are a, an absolute concern storm of ours. Uh, we'll have actually three uh, tide, tide tables, high tide tables we're looking at. It's going to impact us quite a bit. Uh, rain, uh, Neil covered that, uh, 6 to 12 inches of rain on top of storm surge, on top of high tide. So that's going to be a real problem throughout our county, uh, throughout the county. Um, Curfew. Curfew has been uh, Curfew, signed. Awesome. Municipalities of Beaufort County uh, and the County of Beaufort has signed uh, the, the appropriate documents uh, for a curfew <coughs> that will start tonight, 10 p.m. through 6 a.m., Wednesday and Thursday. So Wednesday and Thursday starting uh, tonight, six, uh, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, th those uh, curfews will be enforced. Sorry, appropriately uh, they are criminal uh, events uh, so you need to keep that in mind say what now uh, the, the key to protecting wanted. yourself and your family is is to stay home uh, Colonel Baxley covered that there is absolutely no reason why you should be out joy riding or doing anything uh, other than protecting yourself and your yes, family sir. if you're out and you're out to sightseeing uh, and joy riding uh, during this event and during curfew hours you will be confronted by law enforcement, and law enforcement will no be uh, investigating as Everybody's to what you're down. doing now, which and why is you're out and about. No emergency so you need to keep that in mind. You need to keep people off the streets. Come on, y'all. Uh, keep them in their sheltered Come location uh, because we will have a zero tolerance for criminal activity. So if you're out and about, don't be surprised if uh, you've got you blue go lights on you or a law enforcement officer you, questioning you, you as to why you're out and about. Uh, stay indoors. As they, you know, so many people have said during an event told. such as this, uh, there will be a lot of wind. We'll have a lot of tree damage. We'll have power line issues. Uh, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot for so a limb to come out of a tree because you're out sightseeing in your own yard or your neighbor's yard or someplace where you shouldn't be. Uh, so stay should. indoors uh, during this be event where you should be, and citizen. everyone be safe. Questions? Jeez.